While working in Atlantis, you may decide that a small change of the initial 3D model would improve the presentation and the following steps will show you how to do it. The sliding door here is part of the original geometry so it has to be detached in order to change its position. The tools we will use are located in the upper side of the object inspector drawer. With the arrow icon on Macintosh and cube icon on PC, you open this function and by scrolling down the list next to it, you will find different possibilities to choose from. Would you like to select triangles, plans, volumes, or materials? You may also rely on the wizard tool and detect parts of the 3D geometry with a simple click. The selection is always done in the preview window. The sliding door panel has been detected with one click, so we can finish the task. This third icon, which on PC appears only after a selection was done, opens a dialog box where you have to define some properties of the detached geometry. First, give it a name. Decide whether you want to use it later on for other projects or if you wish to keep it as an internal object of this file. Select the layer on which this new entity will be placed. You approve and Atlantis will execute the operation right away. The new object will appear in the list of objects on the selected layer. From this moment on, you can delete it or edit it the same way you edit any other object from the catalog. In the preview window, the blue dot flashes showing the object's anchor point. You can change its position by simply dragging it in the 2D window or by changing any parameter in the object inspector. Easy and comfortable, this method enables you to do small changes to the initial geometry in no time. Play on!